Bob, I thank you so much for uh, welcoming uh, me here. I, I was walking in here uh, tonight, and uh, while I was walking in, someone said to me, uh, uh, did anyone ever tell you that you look like Ted Kennedy? And uh, <laughs> so uh, I said, uh, well, well, yes, 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 they have. They said, must make you mad as hell, doesn't it? <laughs> You know, there, there's the uh, old uh, Chinese uh, philosopher that says that we should live in interesting times, and what time we're interesting. Uh, we got the Red Sox seven and a half games ahead in, uh, in May. And Vicki and I had the, the honor to go over to Northern Ireland to uh, see the signing of the peace treaty, where they've ended up with 400 years of uh, of strife over there, 3,800 people that uh, were, were, were killed in, in uh, the last 10 years, and so much of strife that's been over there. And then we see peace in Northern Ireland, and we come back and see fighting in the Boston Symphony Hall. Uh, and they <laughs> say, what is happening to our world? Let me uh, just say uh, really what a, um, how, how honored we are to to be here uh, this evening. Just to, very, very briefly, uh, to say some things that I think are enormously important. There are many meetings that are taking place in Massachusetts and across uh, the country, but there are none that are more important than tonight. And there are none that are more important than our meeting here. And there's none that are more important uh, than the participation and the generosity and the celebration of this organization because this is really what Massachusetts, what our country, what America is really all about when it's at its best. And that is about uh, hope and opportunity. It's about the American dream. And what uh, those that have been participating uh, in this marvelous event uh, this evening are really about building a stronger America. America is at its strongest when it has young people with hopes and dreams that are fulfilled, when young people have a sense about their future, when they have a sense about what America is really all about. It goes back to uh, the earliest days, to the Mayflower Compact or Provincetown, when we had the pilgrims gather in that small room and they said, we're coming together because we have a sense of commonality, a sense of community. We're all going to be in this together. And that's what's being stated again here this evening, that we're all in here together about our future, about America, about its hopes and about its dreams and understanding. We are from a part of the world that doesn't have great natural resources. We don't have the oil resources that exist in many other parts of the country of the power that exists in the great Northwest. We have always been dependent upon people with ideas, with creativity, with ambition, with willingness to make a difference for others. That is how Massachusetts and how we have survived. And what is about tonight is offering that hope and those dreams to young people. Tonight, you're about making America stronger. America stronger. Others can talk about a strong America and other frameworks, but tonight it was about making America strong. Tonight is about making American dreams come true for so many young people. Many of us have had the opportunity to live our dreams, but each and every one of you that are in here tonight are making that opportunity of dreams uh, come true. Tonight is really about what John Adams in 1780 understood very well and wrote into our Constitution that was replicated in every other state Constitution about the importance of education in investing in our young people so that democracy will work. So the ideas of our founding fathers can actually function. You have to have an informed people. Tonight is about making our democracy work. It's about hopes and dreams. It's about making America a stronger America. That is what uh, tonight is really uh, all about. Just this uh, last week in Washington, we, there was a conference about uh, school dropouts, school dropouts. And people were thinking about, what are we going to do about uh, school dropouts? And it's enormously challenging. And I'm not going to take the time. Everyone has their ideas about it. 
But I can tell you this, if we don't offer the hope of opportunity for young people that go through the school system, that are willing to take on the various challenges that every young person is prepared to take on, and to spend the time to say no to all of their friends that are doing other kinds of things and to be dedicated to try and make a difference and to succeed in this. And then finally to go to graduation and they say, we want to have the opportunity, but because we have seen the escalation and the explosion, explosion, explosion of the cost of going to college, we wonder whether that dream come through. And who do they tur turn to? They turn to each and every one of you. So Vicki and I are so honored to be here. I welcome the opportunity to serve in the United States Senate uh, to work uh, on education and education access. I believe very, very deeply that the student loan programs ought to work for students and not work for the banks. I think we ought to have the opportunity to make sure that the students are going to be able to have a chance to go together. I believe very deeply that as we needed to have the student loan program when we, er we started that program early, and I was there in the early, in the mid-1960s. I was there in 1960 when we had the question of education before the national, our nation. And President Kennedy said that what this country was about is to make sure that every young person that had talent and ideas and could get admissions to any school and college, that there would be the support systems for that individual to be able to continue their education. It may be their summer income as they work over the course of their summer. It may be on a work study program. It may be some contributions that their parents, but no individual, no young person of talent, commitment and ability should be denied the opportunity to be able to go on to the college which they have been admitted to on the basis of their ability. That was a key issue in the 1960 campaign. And we came to the Higher Education Act where we had 80% of the federal government's help and assistance was on, on grants to individuals, 20% on loans, and how that has shifted and seen. So we see this indebtedness to young people, even if they're able to gain this help and assistance and how they're indebted. So access reminds all of us, whether it's me as a United States Senator, whether it's our fellow citizens, what opportunity is about, how important uh, this effort is. Every single day, when you help a single student, you're making the most extraordinary difference. There isn't a community, and I have the chance to travel all over this country. There isn't a community, there isn't an organization like this in other parts of the country. This is unique, and this is special, and each and every one of you make it special, and each and every one of you are giving something back to America, something back to Boston, something to these individuals for all that they are going to give to us as a country and to our community and to give to our democracy. So Vicki and I are honored to be here we believe in access. We believe in you. We're so proud of you, and we're honored to have a chance to join with you to pay tribute to these remarkable young people. Thank you for inviting us.